Selamat <laughs> kembali ke rancangan di Common Folks Podcast Masih mm-hmm. bersama lagi dengan Abang Suhaimi For the second episode That's yeah. right, welcome to the Common Folks And where we talk about not common things, folks Saya ada satu soalan yang important nak tanya Abang sure. Betul, yes or no eh? yeah. Betul ke tidak hmm. Yang ideal ni sebenarnya anak yeah. saudara Abang Atau dia bohong sebenarnya <laughs> Perfus saya macam tak percaya Macam dia betul ke oh, okay. So lepas 3 tahun ya, Kita buat DNA testing ya. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, Then we realise that Dia sebenarnya adalah <laughs> Anak yang kita Pick up daripada <laughs> Tom Sampah blok sebelah <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> anak saudara okay. saya uh, oh, Bila kita sebut Tentang isteri saya hmm. Jadi isteri saya punya Sebelah tu Di mana Dia kira Anak kepada uh, Isteri saya Dengan kakak Oh uh, Wife and lah okay, uh, Wife and okay. Jadi okay. kira dia Macam Dengan suami yang Macam yang kita kira Macam <laughs> ideal ni hmm. Ialah Isteri saya punya Mak dia punya lelaki <laughs> <punya laki. laughs> Keturunan Kalau macam kita Kira tak Kira Kira Actually ada yang Yang senangnya Betul lah Ya 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 Jadi bapa dia cik sis tu Kira macam Bini saya selalu cakap lah Bapak ideal sis kan Sis tu ialah Isteri saya punya Kakak punya lelaki Betul lah Betul lah Betul lah Kakak dia berlaki So maknanya dia cakap betul lah Dia tak world lah Ingat dia world Tak Dulu kan kena dia world juga <laughs> Betul lah <laughs> okay, Kan-kan dia buat sendiri uh, 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 Dulu kecil-kecil Semua pakai baju perempuan <laughs> Habis Habis, Habis dia. Tak boleh lari <laughs> tau uh, Aduh, eh, Bagus, bagus Seorang so, suami yang bertanggung jawab Betul Alhamdulillah so, so, uh, Apa Anak menangis pun Dia kena jaga uh-huh. Balik uh, Semualah bertanggung jawab Dan Baik orangnya Baik orangnya uh, eh, Manis orang dia manis. Alhamdulillah Terima kasih uh, Itu saya percaya <laughs> so, Kadang-kadang bila kita kemas Lepas kenduri ke apa Dia tak ada <laughs> Anak-anak <laughs> Anak-anak Anak-anak anak, 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 oh. Lain orang kena angkat barang <laughs> Kalau selalu kita bertiga bang yeah. Kalau ada kenduri uh. Selalunya saya dengan Aidil ada uh. Saya uh. dia yang hilang Tentang uh. lah Betul Sebab tu bila awal-awal sebelum pok kasi Cakap kan Kalau kita kelakar Ada orang lagi kelakar Betul Kalau kita malas Ada orang lagi malas Malas lagi Gurau aja lah Tentu dah nak nangis ni Okay bang Kita nak tanya Actually your experience tadi Sebelum start podcast Kita dah cakap pasal Mara Jelawak hmm. Mara Jelawak Mega Yeah so how's your experience uh, ha. Over you know Our neighboring country Shock lah I think bila kita Nak tahu pengalaman kita uh, I would uh, Recommend people To travel Tapi don't forget the base Maknanya base kita ke Singapura Singapore yes. hmm. Bukan macam Kita pergi tempat lain Lepas kita forget about Singapore hmm. Tak The reason is Kita nak Upgrade diri kita Kita kena pergi to Foreign places dan kita kena rasa dia punya foreign environment. Okay. Dia kat Malaysia ni dia sama tapi tak serupa. Uh, sebab kita assume eh dia kita kat sini oh kita buat ni macam ni macam ni lepas tu kita pergi kat Malaysia um, sama tapi itu termasuk lawak lah uh. So bila masuk Malaysia lawak tu is a very good eye opener and for me I know tapi nothing beats experiencing it. Hmm. Uh, sebab dah lama Saya sebenarnya Kalau dulu fikir juga Nak pergi ke Malaysia Buat tu Buat ni macam-macam kan yeah. Tapi waktu tu Pasal family ada Saya cakap Saya stay kat Singapore Then after that When I went into the Mainstream market Then uh, That become my market So I don't have to Cari another market Tapi kat Malaysia tu Dia lain sikit lah Saya would say Kalau let's say Masyarakat Melayu Kalau kita tengok Kita punya Market eh yeah. Yeah. I would say Dekat Singapore ni Dia bukan kecil Dia dia ada bahan-bahan dia sendiri Dia kira macam Satu sungai lah okay. Kat Singapore ni sungai hmm. So sungai dia Ikan dia Lebih kurang macam Ikan air tawar hmm. Kita ada ikan keli yeah. Kita ada gapis okay. Tapi bila you pergi Malaysia Malaysia tu lautan hmm. So lautan ni dia banyak section tau Dia ada tempat nak ikan besar tu ada Ikan, yeah. ikan garupa yang besar ni Kita ada Jadi dia lautan dia nak kena ilmu Dia tengok nak masuk laut sebab mana Malaysia is not just satu jenis saja Dia macam-macam Different state, different environment, different style Yes. Uh, and then dia ada empat level lah Empat level of audience hmm. uh, Di bandar uh, Orang kampung Dan uh, sebagian orang kampung yang tinggal kat bandar mm-hmm. Dan uh, di bandar di mana orang pun macam ada sifat kampung okay, <laughs> Dia okay. ada banyak layers lah. okay. uh, That's why in Singapore, uh, in Singapore you, you tak jumpa orang jual kaset oh, yeah. Tapi di Malaysia uh, Kaset masih ada lagi Masih eh? pendalaman dia Very deep So orang kampung oh. Dia punya penerimaan lain uh, Orang bandar hmm. Urban dia Depend on the mix Then up north Down south Lain 
lain kita kita tak boleh assume semua sama ya yeah, yeah. ha, sebab oh. kita kecil kita kecil kat sini okay. kita most most you bimbang pasal COE mm-hmm. semua orang cakap pasal COE betul ha, betul <laughs> Lepas tu bila air raya pun kita tak ada masalah. Hmm. Masalah dia is like pukul berapa nak balik semua so, satu yeah. rumah 15 minit lepas tu satu orang nak okay next house eh. Uh, betul. Next house. Yeah. Nah, and then bila dah kahwin you tak ada masalah uh, pergi rumah mak bapak mentua balik, balik kampung mana balik kampung. Ah ha, because benda tu besar dekat Malaysia. Yes. Kalau you nak balik bergaduh kadang-kadang hmm. sebab apa bapak mentua mak mentua dekat uh, Terengganu. Ya yeah, jauh-jauh lah kira. Ah ha, then your parents dekat Johor. So you hmm. and your wife will have always this issue. Uh, right, tapi yeah. Singapura, uh, di, di, di Singapura tak ada masalah yeah. Termasuk lawak lah So sana certain perkataan uh, Maksudnya lain mm. kan? Kalau kita cakap kat sini Aku dah bilang dia berapa kali mm-hmm. uh, Kat sana kata Berapa nak, kau nak kira orang Bilang tu kira Oh Ya <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, tapi orang kalau tak faham Jadi bila kita nak bawa lawak sana Macam kita nak balance Semua lingo ah. kan? uh, So that's one of the challenges lah okay. Sebab sana lorat 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 So logat Kedah Orang Kedah ni dia cakap Contohnya Waktu tu kita diberikan tema logat kan hmm. Saya pilih logat Kedah lah Saya dengan Rupi Kita pilih logat Kedah <coughs> Sebab dia Kedah yeah. uh, So kita kena study So kita pergi turun Kedah Pergi Kedah Belajar Kedah pun ada tiga level of logat dia oh. Dia tak sama okay. uh, Tapi one thing we know uh, Tiap kali ada perkataan R Dia macam bercakap tu Macam ada tayar taya, apa uh, Tarik handbrake Contoh, 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 contoh tayar kita cakap tayar tayar dia sana tak dia tayak oh tayak tayak oh. ha, ha. kira tak bunyi ah ha. mana ada r semua jadi macam tarik handbrake bakar bakak bakak ah ha, bakak ha. oh Sebab macam air ah minum air ni ah minum air okey ha, kan? oh. jadi kita fikir juga kenapa orang cakap macam gitu rupanya pengaruh dia datang dari Thailand sebelah tu Thailand yeah. dari Thailand uh, dia bukan r dia s yes ha. would you like to take the bat bat bas lah Oh, but hmm. Mana oh, dia punya part yeah. uh, So from there You dah understand the language kan Then you kena faham Lingo dia Dan kena kena faham Apa sensitif Apa tak sensitif Okay uh, So I think It's a very Well learning experience For me experience So bila dah dapat hmm. tu Sebelum balik ke Singapore Then I terapkan That is where Lepas masuk Mana je lawak uh, I have to do a lot of research A lot of punchline uh, And then have to build up Dia macam Buat rhythm Then I learn about that Sebab tu satu benda Yang saya tak belajar Ha, kat sini kita kelakar Lawak semua Kita boleh spontan Kita boleh think mm, Betul buat ni. Tapi bila you Dalam contest You kena force into Extreme research eh. So saya seorang pula Singapura yeah. mm. Singapore guys So then uh, Secondly is You tu satu research Kedua is You berdepan dengan penonton Yang macam tengok bola mm. Dia sokong Pasukan dia I oh, see. So it's not okay, a normal okay. Punya audience tau okay. Kalau you show punya audience Dia neutral So dia is uh, naughty audience lah Dia kira I macam see. dia sokong dia punya team saja. Yeah. Oh, Walaupun yeah. the kalangan team tu atau pasukan tu orang Malaysia Jadi Malaysia dengan Malaysia compete Apatah lagi saya seorang-seorang duduk oh, right. uh, So right. it was a very uh, fear Fearful Tapi selepas fearful Comes understanding, understanding. understanding yeah. After understanding comes confidence okay. Sampai balik When somebody came up to me And offer me stand up comedy Saya tak pernah buat stand up comedy Different discipline mm. Straight away Daripada Malaysia Lawak Mega tu Balik Singapore je Selina Tan Daripada Dream Academy say So I mean I want to do uh, Stand up comedy With coma and all that uh, You want to do it I say yes Oh straight away oh, Straight away yes. Pasal dah dapat ilmu Then oh, I know yes. the trick already I know the formula okay. And oh. I know the formula Why people laugh Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I know why people laugh mm. Yeah Because You laugh Because you terperanjat okay. So it's a defense mechanism Hmm. Ah. Tak faham eh <laughs> Kira kira terperan, terperanjat dengan punchline ah. Aku macam nak ketuk hammer eh. You see oh, you see you to perajat because when I play with your mind so English joke also lain dan yes. lebih kurang saya taruh dalam mana jawab mega so I have to find what make people laugh. It's not the word. It's not the thing you is because I surprise you. Oh. So for example lah hmm. now I play with your mind. Lah. Okay. Saya ah uh, let's say okay I'm talk a bit about myself. Now I lead you then after that I flip. Eh. Just watch. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. My name is Wai Yusof. Mm. I live in Kampung Tengah. Mm. Kampung means village okay. in Malay, and Tengah means middle. It's in the east of Singapore. So I technically grew up in the Middle East. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jauh tu. Jauh. So now I messed up your brain because ah, I use the word kampung, kampung uh, east. Bil- then suddenly I throw off and then you no. Know, so joke is about flipping. Bila you flip, I lead one. Two, and then uh, I flip yeah. back. I understand. Then you understand. you didn't expect that. You macam a little bit shock. So that shock 
mm-hmm. that you didn't expect coming that's what we call the trigger factor oh. okay, okay. Oh. so i use that dalam marjon mega uh, then uh, second time when i masuk tu then i start to have this research kan and that's the same rhythm for stand up comedy so if you want to be funny then you have to learn the the trigger factor 1 2 3 punch Sebab okay. tu 1, 2, 3 So the most powerful Number in the world Is number 3 Ni saya akan dengar Banyak kali tau bang nanti ha, Dengar Sebab <laughs> saya nak dengar. belajar Betul oh, okay. ha, Baik, baik, baik. Dengar Sama-sama. Jangan tak dengar <laughs> Tapi ja, ja, Abang suami cakap Dia punya response tu Bila dekat Mara Jelawak Berbeza kan yeah. Dia punya crowd ni semua But ha. you, you You were there for the whole season kan For the whole yeah. entire uh, Tiga season saya masuk Tiga season uh, masuk. Lepas tu masuk super spontan Jalan terus lah Dua season Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, super okay, spontan. Okay, okay, super okay, okay. spontan. Yeah. Tapi oh, kat sana kita kena, baik sih. Yalah, kita masuk dalam gelanggang orang ni pun kita masuk tanah orang. Yeah. So I told everybody, these are all my friends. So I said, yeah. I'm not here to threaten anyone. Because I tahu don't want to get makan. Yeah. So mm. I said, I come as a tamu. I was uh, diundang. Then don't worry. I said, kita collaborate. I'm not here to take away anybody's job. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So saya simpan kuku sebenarnya. Mara Jawa Maga tu I didn't go all out. I, I simpan see. kuku. Mm, Cuma yeah. satu kali je dalam super spontan I open up. Then that's me. So yang lain semua saya simpan. Because uh, I'm here to also compliment to make them look good. I so see. salah satu daripada perkara yang berlaku ialah of course bila kalau kita tengok Rupi. Rupi. Okay, Rupi ni sebenarnya dia daripada kumpulan cecupak senario punya time dulu. So he was actually bila saya masuk tu dekat Malaysia ni dia sekejap aja dia lepas 3 4 tahun you hot lepas tu you cold because there are many people yes mm. uh, so you saling berganti kan so Ropi was already macam i think his time was fading away that time then okay. dia masuk dengan geng dia tu semua waktu tu uh, kira macam everybody wants to score so dia kira macam otai lah dah lama lah. Oh. Mm, yeah. so bila saya decided to join dengan dia dua orang saya cakap dengan dia okay Ropi ni gelanggang kau kalau ada lap, ada 10 punchline 8 aku bagi kat kau dua je kau ambil So, oh. this is your clan. Yeah, okay. This is your place, your market. Kalau kau datang Singapore, kita flip dia the way around. Yeah. Uh. So a lot of punchlines might give it to him. And because oh. of that the shine and after that terus berlakon movie. So I check dengan dia, dah kaya jangan lupa member. Eh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he shine back lah. So Rupi became popular jadi yeah. uh, alhamdulillah so people for him. Kita masih contact sampai hari ni. Oh. So bila I need something ke apa pun dia I go down there or call him out here he never say no. Yeah, because oh. rebuild back here, relaunch back his career. Oh, yes. nice, so, nice, kita nice. dua orang je, 50%, 50% 50 Singapore. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. I had to neutralize the market. Uh, sebab apa, kadang-kadang kita masuk dalam tempat orang ni, hmm. kita nak kena hati-hati lah. Nombor satu, kita tak tahu kita buat silap kan. Hmm. So, I think, ha, macam mana aku nak neutralize the crowd? Atau nak neutralize everybody. So, I have to come in peace. So, when I just ambil dua orang, saya dan Rupi, So if anybody you want to lompat lonta batu ke apa benda? Yeah. Hey, we are 50% Malaysian. Ah, <laughs> 50% Singaporean. Yeah. And because of that, I invited Rupi to be part of uh, Surya drama, some shows kat sini. So yeah. we work on both market. So Baik kita dapat. Oh. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Nice collaboration. Then aside from that, ada tak yang benda yang kita tak tahu yang tak boleh search kat internet that you go through dalam kat Malaysia tu? Uh-huh. Aside from super spontan ke Atau you know Benda Zawak. yang tak ada dalam internet eh hmm. Hmm. Something uh, else lah Yang you buat dekat Malaysia ada tak In between tengah-tengah Maraja Lawak tu Sebenarnya saya Look at that I took a break from my Other things So Selama 6 tahun tu Ulang alik Saya drive Saya suka drive Saya tak suka Naik kapal terbang apa benda hmm. So I drove Every Wednesday Thursday Friday And Saturday Saya kat Malaysia Wednesday, Sunday Monday Tuesday Saya kat Singapore oh, every, every week Every week Every week, every week for 6 years Oh, <laughs> life life is good, eh? No, I think because kita balik, okay, I didn't want to let go the Singapore yeah, yeah. market. So bila kat sana tu sampai ada rumah lah saya sewa dekat Jalan Crystal Chalam tu. Uh, there's one uh, dia dia dong panggil condominium. Mm-hmm. So one day turun lah kondo kan. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> ada swimming pool lagi. Ada eh? seorang swimming pool lah. <laughs> so, eh, tak ada orang kat swimming pool turun lah dengan bawah yeah. tuala so seorang <laughs> kan. Uh, nasib baik belum terjun. Ah, Sebab so, yeah. tu dah letak tuala kat situ. Okay, tak ada orang ni. Best ni aku swim seorang-seorang eh. Sebab tu pergi dekat swimming pool tu Baru nak terjun lah Baru nak ngeris Sekali tengok Alamak air dia hijau lah Alamak <laughs> Terjun mesti keluar dah Jadi Habis. Kriber Hulk lah <laughs> Sampai <laughs> hijau ni Alamak LK semua Eh dah asyik oh. Maintain ha. Dia ke sana kondo pun Dia berbeza Kalau macam kawasan Hartemas Ada ha, Nanti tanyalah Property ni ada member apa Kat sini ha, Betul Macam ha, 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 ha. ha, ha. nak kena tengok tempat Betul Sana dia sebut kondo Tapi tengok kondo macam mana Hartemas kondo kira up, up beat sikit lah Ada hmm. Ada ada kelas lah hmm. Dan tempat-tempat lain pun Ada kondo juga yeah. oh. Tapi kondo kira macam 
50-50 Kena con Dia kena macam rumah biasa pun Cuma drama dia kondo So uh, Tapi Yang penting tu sewa je kat situ hmm. And after that for me to stay lah So I have to walk like them Eat like them to understand So I do a lot of wow. research to understand uh, How What life in Malaysia is And then hmm. one of the things I went to was uh, Tanah Felda uh, <laughs> Pergi kebun semua saya pergi Saya in between tu pergi Sampai hmm. ada orang offer uh, Abang nak masuk tak buat investment Investment apa? Ni uh, pisang lang dia kata Pisang lang Lain macam bunyi Ah, ha, pisang lang saya betul-betul nampak ah, ha, ladang pisang lang tu dia punya, dia bukan macam pisang kita selalu kenal kan pisang kepok, pisang tanduk. Ha, ha, tanduk. Ha. Ni pisang lang, dia punya pisang melengkung ah. Ha. Oi, lain hmm. macam ha, melengkung. Macam jadi. ini apa uh, apa the the hawk punya or eagle punya claw. Oh. So saya wow. Ah, ha, so dia benda masuk lepas tu saya cakap uh, tak lah kalau kasih pisang saya makan lah oh, pisang investment buat apa yeah. so I went then I met this boy this guy uh, kita tahu yang kau kenal lah kat situ eh. dia kerja dia saya lupa nama dia uh, but ni dengan inilah geng-geng lah rupi ni semua eh. kita, mm. kita tak banyak kawan jadi kita join this fella this fella yeah. dia kita panggil dia Tazen Boy lah. sebab mm. dia kalau pergi dekat bandar uh, nanti dia pening Oh, uh, dia suka tanam so banyak macam I think Chinese punya pengusaha hmm. actually use him because dia tanam uh, lada lah jagung lah sampai kelapa sawit semua dia oh, kira so. macam dia happy with that environment kira dia punya kehidupan tu all the way kat hutan je eh? dia kira like plantation lah Yalah. Hmm. kita selalu ajak main bowling sekejap aja bukan bowling strike dia kena stroke ah <laughs> dia kata tak boleh kau dah kenapa tak boleh bang saya pening ah gini ah yeah. macam gitu punya orang pun jumpa oh, so okay. uh, that explore that give me um, <coughs> apa uh, the idea of how life in malaysia is because hmm. kita nak berkenal tak kenal lagi tak cinta betul kan? then i went to uh, kedah kita duduk dan kita went up to this Small little mountain eh. Kat atas tu ada resort eh. yeah. Resort hmm. tak banyak orang Seram pula nak duduk situ Betul tu ha, Takut yeah. nanti tidur atas apa Resort Lepas tu besok pagi Kat tepi sungai eh. Eh. Tempat dia jadi okay. so, eh, Tempat macam gini pun ada eh. uh, So and then ada dua apa Waterfall On the way from Ipoh to Kedah tu I was like wow Ini semua saya masuk lah. Kampung Ropi semua dia ajak oh, saya, best Kita explore-explore je Explore lah So oh, to me one. It's more of a, 6 tahun tu Saya dapat mengenali Malaysia Dengan mendalam hmm. Then I can understand uh, I mean daripada Social dia Dia punya Politics dia yeah. So bila keluar surat khabar ke Keluar isu ke Whatever it is To me it's like I understand how it feels hmm. uh, So The only gang Yang help me out Were orang Johor lah Orang oh, Johor. Sebab orang Johor dengan Singapura ni dekat, rapat yeah. So, some of the Johorians they, they help me to market there So, wow. peluang banyak peluang. Cuma saya tak stay uh, Adalah offer lah sana sini Ada ada satu filem eh. oh, Filem mana? Eh. Ha, filem berlakon uh, dengan Bron Palare wow. uh, Sharifah Amani ha, Itu macam mana dapat dapat hmm. apa Chan untuk berlakon dalam filem? Chan de Chan Malik Chan, Chan, Malik Chan, 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 Chan. Chan. Actually, yeah. business is built upon friendship So, you berkawan You akan dapat peluang banyak Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's not yeah. how good you are. Even Singapore pun sama. So, Singapore, you need, need to have a lot of friends. Ah. Yeah, lah, of course lah. Uh, so, friends and then bila dah berkawan. Kita berkawan betul-betul berkawan lah. Bukan nak duit ke apa. Eh. Yeah. Hmm. So, through friends, nanti dia akan datang peluang. Kadang-kadang friends tu yang offer. Kadang-kadang friends offer you to somebody. So, yeah. macam... I don't know Waktu zaman radio tu tu Kecil-kecil Mana lah saya kenal orang radio eh hmm. Tapi si friends Dia ni kenal kat dia ni Ini Then I think one of them Was uh, the one yang ajar Kita di, di Kibarat dulu hmm. uh, Then after See you kenalan-kenalan Ya yeah, kenalan. betul lah uh, And then you have to Prove yourself that you're good lah oh. So bila kat Malaysia tu Bila dapat film ni Pasal kawan-kawan lah It's a circle of friends Saya dulu eh Kau pakai dia ni lah Kau uh-huh. pakai dia tu lah Sebab tu ah, dia ni, dia ni Kelakar Dia panggil saya Imam Kunut Imam Kunut Oh ya ya Video dia video Kat sana Yang Imam Kunut tu lah Yang Kunut Wah itu popular Itu Ustaz Ustaz Siapa tu Azhar Siapa nama dia Azhidros 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 dengan Ustaz Akasha Dia kata Kita orang selalu dengar Tengok kau punya Kunut Tapi seriously Itu kelakar Itu every time Mula puasa Mesti orang Whatsapp Send Betul-betul Tapi bila ada Kat Malaysia You kena tahan juga Bukan market besar So ada yang happy Ada yang tak happy Betul Yang pemain agama Maksudnya aku pemain agama pula Because because of that Ini api-api Yang jual BCD Waktu tu pun Semua dah pandai kunut dah Tapi saya tanya balik Kalau You see You tengok tu sebagai Lawak-lawak je But actually 
actually I bring up that kunut tu is actually cerita daripada Ustaz Ahmad Dari. Yang memang ustaz tu itu I visual kan. Hmm. And then kedua oh. is like orang Melayu kalau cakap kunut 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 do you even know what kunut means? Hmm. What is in al-lughatul arabiyah apa makna? Hmm. So you have to speak Arabic to understand that. You know so then uh, banyak on the surface value lah. So bila kat Malaysia pula then, then yang biasa tak suka benda-benda gini biar very, very traditionally stuck. They're not traditionally stuck because their mindset is actually a bit rural. rural. So orang kampung reject. Mm. Tapi orang orang yang uh, modern sikit dengan bandar, bandar dia mm. dia quite happy dia kata sampai itu pengaruh dalam tak silap ada dua rancangan satu kat TV3 mm. satu kat Astro they actually use this kunut as part oh. of their drama. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Then uh, it, it viral dekat YouTube. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tapi itu yeah, itu was famous dia tu. Famous gila. Yeah, oh, was yeah. And then uh, some of them of course ada cakap ini uh, satu pasal dekat Malaysia sensitivity is different kat sini itu okay. Sana because lapisan masyarakat betul, betul. Yes. Uh, so uh, I think one of my my kenalan kat sana cakap uh, one of the astro punya executive dia kata oh ini kunut ni eh kira ni ini satu lawak berani mati dia kata apa berani mati ya apa ya Bang, yeah. tapi selama uh, sepanjang 6 tahun tu bang hmm. abang dengan uh, kira apa pergi naik turun Singapura Malaysia yeah. uh. Kira kakak pun ikut sekali lah? Kadang-kadang ikut, kadang-kadang tak ikut lah. Oh kira kalau ha. tak ikut, abang sendirian? Sendirian lah. Duduk sorang-sorang kat syarat. Ha. Ha. Kadang-kadang menangis, menangis nasib. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, no, okay. Because I don't want to disturb my family here. So kadang-kadang mereka bawa family pergi sana. Tapi not involved. Because it was purely work and then hmm. my exploration. Because kita sana untuk... Uh, to me, I call it six years of uh, Malaysia hmm. degree lah. Oh, uh, because nak mendalami because dia tak ada uh, kalau nak belajar mana pun dia tak ada apa master or degree in uh, comedicology Betul. so I have hmm. to learn on the spot learn macam mana caranya sebab kenapa tadi saya sebut tentang orang Johor hmm. satu because dia dekat kita kedua yeah. uh, seluruh Malaysia tu orang Johor ialah antara mereka yang tak ada logat Oh, oh ya. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kalau dia pergi orang Ganu, Ganu, Ganu. Hmm. Lepas tu uh, Sabah lain. Uh, dia semua sikit je lah berbunuh orang hmm. orang, <laughs> orang Kalau Kelantan lain ha, eh, Kelantan. Demo. ada seko anak ha. topa, ha. atas jula motor. <laughs> Jo eko perut lapuk. Jalan cari make. Boria. Okey okey okey. so I think let's give bahasa. Jadi kita sana nak satu nak kena pandai bawa diri. Hmm. Kedua uh, kalau kita dah selesa kat Singapura, kita jangan expect kat Malaysia hmm. tu macam Singapura. Yeah. Maknanya, kita kena hormat undang-undang sana, hmm. cara hidup sana. Jangan kita terapkan kita punya prinsip nama, tak suka. Macam orang luar datang Singapura, dia kata, you should be like this, you should be like that. Dan kita pun tak suka kan. Yeah. 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 Jadi, okay, kita faham. kawan lah. Pandai-pandai bawa kawan lah. I mean, uh, ramai kawan lah. Mungkin ada yang tak berkawan sangat mm-hmm. pun ada. Tapi kita tak kisahlah. Uh, sampai okay. hari ni, the relationship is still very cordial kan. Hmm. Bang selain daripada acting lah Host lah Apalah hmm. uh, Pekerjadah lah Saya tak tahu uh, okay. Tapi saya nak tahu okay. uh, Apa uh, Selain daripada abang buat hmm. ni semua hmm. Abang ada hobi tak bang Macam ha. main bowling ke Selain daripada acting Saya pergi kasino kan Eh tak Terlepas lah pula Rubah tau muka Saya tak pergi kasino Saya pergi kasi yes Jangan pergi kasino Takkan menang punya Sebab kasi No I know I know kasi you man I take away Jahat that place Hobi banyak Tapi Saya ni ibarat macam Aku masa the buffet guy lah Because uh, Kalau tengok dari segi Zaman sekolah dulu Saya uh-huh. masuk ECA Tak tahu berapa banyak ECA Ui, Tapi semua si. Ya 3-4 bulan 3-4 bulan Cepat boring lah Cepat boring ha, Lepas tu masuk badminton Badminton macam kena cekedi Lepas tu, <laughs> lepas tu <laughs> Masuk swimming Bola ha. dan sebagainya ha. lah Lepas tu bola Rugby semua masuk lah oh, Rugby semua, masuk eh? Rugby masuk ha. Oh Betul. Pasal nak nampak macam... Macu lah. Macu lah. Okay. Lepas tu jahanam lah. Scrum bau orang semua. Betul. Ya, tak payahlah. Pecah. Lepas tu kawan saya cakap, apa kau masuk rugby? Mm-hmm. Ha. Kau ingat perempuan tengok ke apa kau masuk rugby? Kau ajar. Mm. Bukan pasal tu saya cakap. <laughs> Tapi macam... <laughs> Uh, then I, I bekas uh, banyak benda. Jadi dari perisi eh, sampai ke hobi pun ada. So I was a skill modeler. Skill model I build uh, oh, yeah, Yang tua mo- apa? Create a tank lah ah. All hmm. those things So just to Malam-malam lah do, do. But no longer So then uh, Hobi lain uh, Dulu memancing Lepas tu boring uh, Duduk Lepas tu fed up Lepas tu pergi sengsong Beli ikan <laughs> 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 Tak boleh duduk diam <laughs> <lah>. <laughs> Tak boleh duduk diam 
Okay. Uh, tapi one of the most favorite was yeah. uh, because I was very much exposed to public life, guys. Right? Yeah. Mm. So to me is privacy is the only thing I hargai. Yeah. That's so why when people want to interview and never in my home. That's my last Batman cave. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, then I find that my best uh, thing that I really enjoy, bukan nak show, yeah. tapi actually my escapism is actually reading book alone in the house. Oh. That's my mm. escapism because I already become public life, public uh-huh. property. Nanti kadang-kadang jalan, orang berbual macam kena 40 tahun. Usually my wife pun nanti, siapa tu? Mana aku tahu dia. Uh-huh. Ha, lepas tu kadang-kadang, eh, ingat tak? Macam aku nak ingat muka dah, <laughs> download dah rosak tau. Betul. Ingat tak? Dulu gini-gini cuma takkan tak ingat. Aku cakap, Allah, aku mau di beribu tahun, beribu orang aku jumpa. Hmm. Uh, so, when, when kadang-kadang gitu, kadang-kadang saya drive dalam gelap pun, budak-budak dalam ni, my wife pun cakap, uh, nanti motor ke siapa datang, tak, tak, try me. Ha, uh, try me. Lepas tu kadang-kadang dompos, lepas tu letak, Uh, so saya minum soap from the back of his car. Saya <laughs> 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 lama. I live with around banyak spy ya. Ha, betul. Ah, ha, patut tak boleh buat mendiam kamu kan? Ya lah. Okey. Tak boleh. Sebab itu saya join Jamia Lorong 12 belas. Gilam. Orang tak cakap apa-apa. Ha, ya. Gimana tu kat Lorong? Jamia. Jamia. Uh, saya buat amal-amal sikit kat Lorong. Okay bang, saya ada satu soalan eh. Uh, I want to ask you about the macam you punya when you buat lawak ataupun komedi ataupun host yeah. dengan uh, Abang Karudin Samsudin uh. that chemistry memang dah naturally datang ke atau memang you build up relationship dengan dia dah lama macam banyak keluar melepak ni semua uh. until because I see that your combination dengan dia uh. macam perfect ke uh-huh. yeah. so hmm. Karudin ni dia memang cacat tau dia <laughs> Sorry guys. Yeah, <laughs> Pasal betul, betul serang lah dengan orang. Kita kan misteri dorong baik tau. Tak hati kita mula <laughs> dengan uh, dulu ada satu rancangan uh, Sujimi produce uh, okay. 647. 647 uh, eh? 647 tu dia rancang macam info ad lah. Macam documentary style kan. Mm, okay. So Sujimi is very good in documentary. Jadi bila diundang saya masuk. Uh, then for me is like I, I was doing variety. Yeah. So not news. Because that time baru-baru start career pun orang offer kat Medicorp tu kan. I see. Uh, you nak baca news current affair atau nak variety. So I fikir-fikir I can go variety. Mm. Pasal apa tengok orang baca news. Hari-hari baca benda sama. Oh. Dan lepas tu dia baca news je. Mm. Uh, dia tak boleh macam huri-huri sikit lah. Betul. Uh. So sini pergi long form lah. So, so I choose that one. So bila Suji Mi call. Then I say I give a little bit twist lah, tambah sikit lah. Saya mm. member kan. Dia cakap, eh ni kalau info ad macam magazine style, aku kasi macam kelakar sikit okay tak? Yeah? Mm. So I accept. So and then pula kena dengan uh, Karolin Samsudin. Mm. So before that, he was not known for comedy. Okay. Dia pelakon uh, teater, je lah. pelakon serius lah. Pelakon baru ha. lah. Ha. Pasal waktu tu dia ingatkan dia handsome sangat lah. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. <laughs> ha, dia dia kira berlakon berlakon dia dia start daripada dulu lah. Tapi yang paling mu apa yang dia start daripada mak yoyo lah. Okay. Yeah. Kecil kecil dulu ada macam video lama lama. Dia tujuh tahun dengan bobo tu semua dia dah joget dalam hmm. apa ni kelab rundang sayang apa benda. Hmm. Saya jumpa oh. video tu saya kasih kat dia. Oh maknanya tujuh tahun kau dah jadi jantan joget. <laughs> <laughs> Menangis konon <laughs> eh. yeah. ha, Jadi first time kita jumpa dekat set tu And that's where I think usually for me I like to Whoever Host with me I The host ni kita kena macam Share Share the stage eh? yeah. Ada host dia compete mm, okay. ha, Compete you never get Proper things lah Jadi yeah. usually We have a co-host tu I usually will pass the ball mm-hmm. Maknanya Saya timbang tiga kali Saya pass to you Then you pass back to me Then that's very important Fit, so, uh, kira fit each other lah, eh? ha, You have to do that Then uh, After that Bila That concept was okay So we start from there Then that's where Kita bergabung And then after that Kita dah mula I mean this one Thanks for Sujimi For combining us Then that one I start Then dia tengok saya Relax sikit Go go now So Khairuddin pun dia Ah okay lah Tu first time kita kerja sama lah. Hmm. Ah. So dah lama-lama, dah bounce bounce on, uh, dah makin mesra lah. So dah tahu what to expect kan. And kedua is, we don't mind laughing at ourselves. Ah. Ah. Saya ke, buat kelakar ke apa, dia off, dia kelakar on screen. Yang kelakar off screen kalau record, you pingsan dah tengok. <laughs> ah, okay, Antara okay, istilah wow. dan perkara yeah. yang kita sebut, semua yeah. dahsyat-dahsyat. Oh. Dia kira level wali kat sini. Dia bawa lagi tau Walau lah <laughs> Walau <laughs> Jadi bila kita dah boleh gurau Maknanya kita dah tak ada Sensitivity between us Ya yeah. yes. become friends lah Bukan uh, Then until today lah Jadi bila kita, certain vibes tu Kita uh, Put it up Put it up Jadi dia, dia nampak kan Bila you behind screen Your chemistry is okay Dia akan beranak Di depan screen 
Dia nampak oh. the chemistry oh. Sebab yang lain kadang-kadang uh, Professional Tapi yang lain tu There's still a barrier Whereby you nak bergurau tu You kurang rasa selesa Faham, uh, faham Jadi oh, saya lontar batu kat dia Dia pun okay Dia lontar batu balik kat saya pun okay <laughs> So tak ada kecil-kecil hati lah okay. uh, Then oh. that became uh, Inilah So chemistry must be off and on air On hmm. and off uh, screen uh, oh, So okay, that's okay, how okay. we combine lah Nice, nice. Ni, Kadang-kadang saya text dia pun uh, Kadang-kadang Bila kita whatsapp ke pun dia uh, Kadang-kadang dia panggil saya G Eh G Alah Kan biasalah orang panggil G Bayangkan apa saya jawab Eja Joy Tak <laughs> Joy Joy. Dia ada macam Sebahagian daripada perkataan Hokkien lah Saya balas balik lah eh, Hokkien oh, Saya panggil G Saya Oh alamak Ya 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 Okey okey okey. Tapi kau kurang lah, macam tu. Siapa yang faham lah. Macam public dia macam tak tak macam kau hajar sikit lah tapi as person bila you you see bila that is very important. So bila I buat police sensitive pun for example eh. Saya dengan Mark dah tak ada sensitive tau. He can ask me any question he wants. Kita dah boleh bergurau, kita hina but we do it at private. Kita dah dah tak ada sensitive things about us. Mm. Ah, I mean even across the nice. Gurawan the language ke religion race pun kita dah nothing between us but Faham. that one tak boleh resonate dengan public ya, betul lah. but between us kalau dah boleh buat macam tu maknanya dah jadi geng lah. ah, ah. jadi that's why the chemistry ada orang yes. kena lah lepas tu dah jadi ok yeah, yeah. Best gila uh, tengok yeah, uh, Especially uh, yang police sentif tu uh, Siapa yang uh, Create the sound tu eh, Bang uh, kan yang lagu tu Police sentif Fighting yeah. all day long That one your voice kan <laughs> Yeah I think dia punya There's some in-house composer lah Buat oh, waktu tu Because okay. they, they have to have In-house composer Because royalty Copyright kan nice. And then kita sing And then the lyrics uh, Of course The promo department did it So we just twist A little oh, bit okay, uh, okay. Police sentif ni Banyak scripted Uh, sikit dia tambahan Tapi bila masuk the news Kita usually 50% kita modify oh. On the spot oh. <laughs> Nice Baik uh. sih eh? You uh. prefer scripted ke Atau spontan punya program? Uh, I enjoy presentif I like a news uh, news, news pasal uh. ada spontan uh. Dan spontan tu News reminds me of my tak liangkat uh. Tak liangkat kita tak ada script pun okay. oh. Eh baik sih tu kan I mean satu You tanya any one of the actors satu, Sebab tu bila saya buat tak liangkat tu The actor must qualified. Kita qualified diri kita mesti ada pengalaman berlakon, pengalaman mengacara dan pengalaman cerita. Oh itu kriteria dia. That's the criteria between us, unwritten rules. Okay. Jadi bila ada tu, kita campak bola, everybody can just uh, you know like in in cerita kita train not to kill uh, dialogues. So this are training. You know macam you tengok rancangan Who's Line Is It Anyway? Yeah. Hmm. Exactly, that's a cerita training. Oh. So if you have theater background, you okay. are the TV background and you biasa host dan you biasa perform and you don't mind doing funny things, that's the criteria of tak semua orang tapi that's the criteria I have for tak liangkat. Oh. So I choose people like Mastur Ahmad, Era Farida, uh, Khairuddin Samsudin, Zamri Patah. These are all with theater backgrounds. Okay. I see. Uh, okay, okay. See. So tak ada dialog langsung. Boy, Zero. See. Nothing. Kita just point A, point B, point C. Jadi Hang Toy Hang Joni Okay okay I, semua keluar. Yeah, I remember ah. the show Tak boleh angkat Aku repeat banyak kali Aku kick it all the way <laughs> tu yeah, yeah, because, because we want to it To be as natural as possible Macam mana Member kedai kopi berbual Macam itu kita official kan That's how What tak boleh angkat is I see, yeah. I see. <laughs> Tak boleh angkat kira Yang aku paling ingat Yang tu Yang Pak Cik tu angkat kotak Marah nampak Marah nampak <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dia sebenarnya memang Ditugaskan untuk angkat kotak <laughs> Sebab oh. dia kira Manpower kat belakang Dia tukang angkat kat barang Pasang lampu semua So bila tak boleh angkat tu Semua lah termasuk cameraman apa Semua masuk dalam depan skrin hmm. uh, So that was the time when Before TikTok, before YouTube That was the TikTok YouTube of yes. I had yeah. uh, Because to me I look at the trend senang je I, I think I just dah tua pun Jadi I let go my formula lah eh. hmm. uh, uh, So I usually one. look at US So I study US What's the trend 10 years later it will come to Singapore Oh, 10 years later we go to Malaysia So the blueprint is like that. Oh. I give you example. Okay. Uh, let's say Pop Yeye. Oh, okay. Uh, Pop Yeye came from US. It arrived from uh, from Britain. Mm-hmm. So after that, they moved to US and then it came down to Singapore. So Pop Yeye is the word popular. Yeye is from lagu Beatles. She mm-hmm. loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So bila you tengok pop 60-an, pop ye-ye, semua nak dress up like Beatles. Beatles. Mm, yeah. So it's a trend, 10 years. And then whatever happened, rock down there, yes. 1960s, Mick Jagger, and then after that, so by the time 1970s, 60s, 70s, ada slow rock, 
1980s uh, it came down sweet charity Ooh. then hmm. baru beranak uh, jadi wing search eh, betul lah eh. so oh, whatever eh, happened 10 years, 10 years there, there, eh? it will come back here after that 10 years sebab dia mencut sana the market will push down here then why Singapore laju bukan Singapore better than Malaysia but okay. because Singapore is small room uh, small room ni room, bilik kecil ni hmm. kalau orang buang angin cepat baru betul oh, dia yeah. spread very fast hmm. uh, because it's a small space when you go to Malaysia dia banyak layer so it travels slightly slower so the trend slightly slower not Faham. because Malaysia is slow it's because it's a bigger space hmm. Hmm. Uh, so the trend is always like that 10 years there it will come here and it will go there so I usually look at the uh, Uh, US, Britain, and then I say apa trend dia coming eh? so somehow if you may want to say that I somehow dapat guess that a certain kind of YouTube trend is coming yeah because there ada sana was that time was popular all this very short short punya X uh, mm. Little Brits Goodness Gracious Me okay. these are all the, the thing that started to Uh, apa, uh, something like what lah uh, Something lah Banyak-banyak that kind of show But, Tapi kat Asia tak ada So I was looking at that And then after that I say Eh, ni benda mesti come So before people come I take the formula I localize it And then boom So I call it tak diangkat yeah. So the whole DVD Was usually orang beli DVD 90 minutes Tengok movie mm-hmm. But then again I study the trend and say Kalau 90 minit You buy your favorite movie And then after that, how many times you watch that DVD? Yeah, mm. twice a year, and then you occupy space. Then I combine with apa tau? Number one to tackle this issue. How do I make people take that DVD and watch it again and again? Yeah, no. that's the trick. Betul. Two, I study piramdi. Seluruh movie dia, you tengok panjang-panjang, mm. then you only remember certain dialogue. Yeah. Tahu bukan tak tahu aku ah. dah. Eh, yeah, uh, okay, okay. So you only remember spurts 90 minit But you remember only certain So certain. I said What if I collect All these small small Little fraction yeah, And then concentrate kan Jadi satu eh? Com- Compact kan lah hmm. Right You don't remember 90 minit So that's why Tak langkat dia Cerita dia 10 minit Yes After that after hmm. that, yeah. tukar, tukar, tukar. Then lepas tu Lepas 10 minit You like to see Something more raw The bloopers ah. <laughs> So I put the bloopers So it was uh, TikTok before TikTok mah. Yeah. That was the concept. Why? Because I jump on to two, so I Man. don't think ahead of time. Definitely, mm. I think your your <laughs> genius lah. Seriously, your genius doing hey, that. Jangan buji gini. Seriously, two seven kan? Tak lah. Saya bukan genius. Just like goddamn bloody genius. Such a humble bastard. Yeah. Aku repeat banyak kali ya di yeah. situ, really. Because that Fun. was that was something bila you buat something tu, you need to study the psychology. Why yeah. people like to watch it again and again? Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then sometimes I go into your subconscious mind. Mm. I don't have to see anything really. Now I go into your brain really. Okay. Hey hey hey. What are you thinking? <laughs> Takuntala. Takuntala. I didn't even say it. <laughs> See how I penetrate your brain? That's the art of marketing. Ah. Marketing combined with humor, combined with uh, psychology. That's it. So it's about psychology. Today, they call it algorithm. Yes. Mm. yes, yes, yes. Ten, 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 ten. <laughs> because I used to be kena lempang by my father because I play with the fluorescent lamp. Uh. <laughs> so when I watched Star Wars, that became my inspiration because I said, this guy was thinking. So when George Lucas came out with Star Wars, the same thing happened because people were not ready to accept that. Mm. On the day of his grand opening, dia ambil cuti dia pergi somewhere because mm. when he said this Star Wars movie is coming out, even the wife check up, I don't think so. Uh, you will ever make it. Yeah, the only person who said go ahead, I think it's a great movie, good movie, got hope, is actually the big one. Ah, si, siapa ni? Um, Steven Spielberg. Mm, mm. Yeah. So if you start tengok the biography, because people were not ready, so I said I took the chance. Ah, so I did the DVD too in sections mm. because I know at that time instead of watching from end to end, one pro minute, apa cakap je? Pro minute, tiga minute. Pro minute, tiga minute. Isn't that what you are watching today yes yeah that's why it's smart, called smart. instagram pendek pendek betul yeah so back then uh, when i released it in 2003 2004 
Uh, so I had that in mind because I said in times to come I don't think people interested to tunggu lama-lama mm. and that makes you watch it again and again because it's okay. all short spot, short spurt mm. that's it so mm. it's not just about bahan kelaka atau ni tapi the be method yeah mm. uh, and then of course uh, very simple observation lah mm. but uh, you predicted it already lah macam sekarang uh, kita punya attention span sekejap je kan yeah because I think lama-lama uh, orang tak suka makan banyak-banyak yeah. tapi orang suka makan sikit-sikit lah sikit-sikit macam cemil-cemil lagi. Ah, cemil sikit-sikit pun banyak juga. Betul lah. Kan? Uh, uh, dan orang, uh, because hmm. ini pun another observation was, hmm, I have to study human behavior. Uh, that time I was doing promotion for courts was also part of it. What fell into this uh, my own research. Ah, uh. okay. my own research, not not in any books or whatever. Eh? Okay. Because you have to observe people. You are in people's business. So you have to observe people. Yeah. So bila buat dekat courts punya advertisement tu, then I realise. Eh? Kau sendiri bayang main orang Melayu. Okay. Hmm, betul, orang betul, Melayu. Betul. Sebab dia suka, dia tak suka beli mahal-mahal. Dia suka bayar orang kecil-kecil. Ah, ah, ya. Dia suka sikit-sikit ya. bayar instalment. Ah, instalment. Ah, instalment. Oh, saya suka instalment. Oh, dia suka sikit-sikit lah kecil-kecil. Lah. So that translate into attention. Mm-hmm. That translate into show. Then I look at consumption lah. Yeah. Oh. So when you do show, you have to do like that. And then, I don't know, someday it became... Instagram and TikTok and became Facebook because now the attention span is human being is less than a goldfish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because of technology, you makin tak sabah. You want fast because right, you have the fastest car in the world, fastest plane. You want to go faster. Hmm, betul. Oh. Betul. Kat Jepun ada bullet train. Yes. Agaknya the next fastest one is just picit butang dengan apa seluar dalam semua tertinggal <laughs> tak hilang eh? tak hilang tertanggal lah saya cakap masa yeah, yeah. cakap masa era pula eh, generation generation sure. you uh. baru also July you dah graduate from MDIS betul yep, tak yep. so betul. congratulations on that thank you okay uh. but what was the idea actually to to go back and study and study and get the degree okay. just to make sure that my 32 years was right Confirm sekali cik halal lah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, tak, I, I already because uh, kan I mm. earlier said and mentioned that I was dalam persimpangan kan, sedang persimpangan nak teruskan kerja ke atau nak teruskan belajar ataupun kerja ya. So I had that opportunity. I was offered to join SBC that time. Mm. Oh, so, lama sih SBC tu. Uh, then some of my friends pergi go ahead and belajar sih uh, macam mana eh. I uh, think I don't know whether I will get that opportunity again. So the door was opening. So I said, I never had just jump first lah. Mm-hmm. I say study maybe I can study waktu tengah kerja lah. Mm-hmm. Oh. So some of my friends dia pergilah. No, ada yang pergi NTU, ada pergi NUS. So I say normal lah aku belajar later lah. Mm-hmm. Uh, which halfway through I did uh, belajar tapi then realise that kita kerja sambil belajar, belajar. ni is very tough discipline. Yeah, it's very tough. Uh, so I actually drop out from three universities. Mm-hmm. So I went to SIM, I went to SMU, I went to another university and then I drop. I drop out tiga kali. Wow. Oh. So dah lama-lama Then I saw my daughter Went to NTU Then I said Hmm Teringat sendiri lah yeah. I've done a lot of things I've done so many things This is one thing That I've not completed So mm. I said to my daughter Okay I'm going to complete this I try to graduate together with you wow. And that became my fire And I said I'm going to do it Finally Fourth time Actually dah lepas tiga kali tu Dah give up lah I said, for what lah Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pun nak dapat degree pun buat apa Termometer degree je okay, <laughs> <buat apa. laughs> yeah, yeah, But it's more of not See kita Then I find that Bila I really went through the experience So bila belajar tu Dia become more wholesome I could understand even better Because I've touched things I've experienced things mm. So bila tengok yang Budak-budak muda belajar kat tepi-tepi ni <coughs> they are still struggling with uh, theory and imagination mm. but i went to practical over 32 years mm. in fact the lecturer was always bila dia cakap-cakap something they selalu turn around correct or not so i me correct or not so i me mm. i say i pay to study not to become <laughs> your assistant yeah, lecturer nah, nah, nah. <laughs> please ah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but i enjoy it uh, i think bila completion tu is more of uh, to me is a uh, something that inside my head that i have not completed because i wanted to also show my children that uh, whatever it is education you need to learn and mm. in fact it's not about certificate you go to school is to get organized and socialize a lot of people fail to understand that part school is where you begin socializing your social skill mm. and then you structured thinking mm. yes. bukan 
thinking yang terbendung tau. Mana you can think whatever you want, you can do whatever you like, can be as creative you can. But how to categorize it? Yeah. So you learn structuring, that's it. You learn structuring. Itu yang saya fail tu bang. Uh, oh. So pergilah ambil degree yang ada. Mm-hmm. Uh, saya datang ke sekolah lalu. Uh. Ada QR code tak boleh start. <laughs> <laughs> register now. Yeah. So you, you you need to, again, I think that part was, because my mindset was, itu sama lah. Belajar Lama aku nak kena textbook aku nak, But when you start to think that Belajar No, no, no It's not belajar It's um, Finding out uh, Information And then You explore You pretend to be a spy lah. mm. So you get information You belajar You have to turn it into something Mesti ada dia punya Point yang you akan make Make benda tu enjoyable lah. Yeah. So hmm. every part of, So bila For example Macam ada orang Makan nasi lemak uh-uh. Kan Dia dah makan Kan telur dia tinggal last Ada yang makan telur dulu So Betul? it's really up to hmm. you It's yeah. up to you so, There's no Hard and pass rule So I mean People are Fear or scared Of antar essay lah Apa benda You know But then again Then you realise Actually You know As you Grow up And hmm. learn eh, uh, You begin to learn Actually that's the Structured thinking Itu aja. Yes. And then of course mm. when when the best part is you get to say this ah, there's no argument because I'm both street smart and paper smart. Wow. Wow. Why become one when you can have both? Uh-uh, so yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, street so, smart and paper smart though. Yeah, I mean there's always yeah. this argument between ah degree buat apa? Mm. You know, people street smart. Oh, yeah. you know, kopi cam punya boss. PSLE dah boleh buat business business. Then some people say no academic is important. Yes. I say well, what's the point man? I'm on both sides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So on both sides. So why choose one when you can be both? Uh-uh, ah yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's right. Yeah. Dengarlah oh, dengarlah yeah. semua. Yeah. Yeah. Can Baja, both. Eh? <laughs> can be both. 50, 53 years old uh, orang masih boleh you know graduate. Yeah. Yeah. Pro pro of you lah. Power lah. Bagi eh. So, proud <laughs> je Wow Aku terus Seriously aku terus macam lost tau Asal? Aku terus lost lah Sebab aku aku It's not that ha. good in Ni uh, benda lah Semua ni Okay But to listen to Apa ha. Abah Suami dah cakap tadi ha. eh, It really opened my mind so, to yeah. There must be a monster That you're afraid of So you gotta hmm. kill that monster yeah. Because what you're afraid of Maybe we're thinking The mindset like uh, Aku English Maybe Kurang powerful mm. Or maybe this but So you you see the problem kan So the best is to actually How to tackle that problem yes, How to exactly. make the English Much better, better. Uh, So yeah. there's always the easier way So today with YouTube lah yeah. Yeah. With all you can Google anything And there's AI yeah. Today mm. So you can actually pick up And yeah. then the best is always like Watch if your English is not good So you watch Your favorite movie And repeat it again And again yeah. and again mm-hmm. That's it And you can learn new language yeah. For example uh, Certain language Which you may not be able to understand But you can pick it up Yeah Something like uh, You know You can speak in Spanish El Diablo Casadore The Omeras um, you know? no, no, no. And where do I learn this? Because tengok Predator Nak dekat seratus kali Predator oh. The movie Anna Schwarzenegger Oh yeah Your yeah, first Predator So the movie That inspired me uh-huh. Is number one Is Star Wars That okay. inspired my childhood dream Then I use Predator. I mean, apart from uh, in Muagama, I think we'll talk about that. So I had to use something that is relatable in daily life. So Predator has been my movie for motivation uh, because when you find certain things difficult in life, you know, then you just repeat the dialogue. Because huh? dialogue by this kind of script writers, uh, they're very good because they think of human psychology and they write script. Mm. So when something very difficult for you to overcome, you say, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Yes. You yes, know? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Get to get the chopper. To the chopper. Yeah. Yeah. Get to the chopper. <laughs> yeah. So you like, become, then, then that's what I do when it comes to work, uh, business, government, again. So deep down inside me, that's why I watch the movie again yes. and again. Yeah. Uh, it's almost hundred over times. Wow. Sampai I remember the dialogue from beginning until the end. Hmm. See, yeah, balik tengok lihat Predator. Ah. Best, wow. because that Predator. one is like the movie. The story is perfect. The dialogue perfect. is fantastic. Yeah. Yes, because it's like the Earth Commando versus the Alien Commando. Yeah, yeah. the rest of the other Predator tak boleh tengok ah. So and then the, Arnold Schwarzenegger and then the six teams, you know, yeah. they move and then yeah. what do you do as a team, and what would you do if you're left alone? Mm. Yeah. yeah, so alone you can survive with the team. You can even so. With the thing Kalau semua power 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 So when you build a team kan Yo. Satu orang dah power Then you build Dia ada You three eh Lepas tu ada Combine Kalau satu orang dah bagus Dua, tiga 
That's why you ask the question to the general. It's like, why use us? Yeah, why yeah, not yeah. use the regular army? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Because some <laughs> damn fool <laughs> accuse you of being the best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, but like, like, kalau awak tahu yeah. nipah mana? Okay. Come on, kill me. I'm here. Come on, kill me. Mana Dia mana nak cocok kat situ dia alien over here give me now give me now si tahu ah okey 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 100 okay. kali Tuh. takkan dia tak tahu ha ah, ah. 100 kali tak tahu so dia in spanish movie. punya perkataan pun aku remember el diablo casa de otro de hombres these ah. demons they make the trophies of man saya eh. dengar sometimes they come back with their skins uh, <laughs> skin. saya dengar timon je bang timon eh <laughs> Wow, yeah. wow, okay, okay, okay. And when the big man was killed, you must have wounded it. It's blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sir. Bibi boleh bengkak je. Wounded it. Yeah. Wow, nice, nice. We need to find uh, our Hawkins body found. Yeah. Yeah. To be too widespread. <laughs> wow, hundred times that you think I am. Of course. I love that, that movie. Also. I think I watched that first time when I was sick for. Then I like kind of like that movie. So then it's not instead of just watching it. Then I actually so before all this uh, iTunes na bunda so I used to have in the form of DVD, H tape everything wow. so I keep mm. buying and I keep watching the same movie and when you watch it again and again you go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into it right. and I think this is also inspired by kenapa kita solat lima waktu lah yeah. you keep doing it doing it doing it until you go deeper and deeper and deeper into it instead of looking at it as a routine. Yeah, mm. then become your firepower. Who? That's it. Yeah, nice. deep right. sini. Yeah, okay bang. Tapi sebelum kita akhirkan rancangan ni, dah habis. Uh, dah oh. Mana <laughs> saya ni? Mana ni? Ini orang kompak lima pagi. Dah lima puluh dua minit. Dah break lah, nak habis lah. What's the matter with you, Dylan? What's the matter? Yeah. Come on, kill me, I'm here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, okay, what's the matter? You used to be somebody I could trust. <laughs> I woke up. Why don't you? And I used you to get the job done. Got it. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, but yeah. right now you are with Jamia also, can maybe yes. you can share with our listeners juga like yeah. what, what what do you do? You know? I think I call this the last days of my life, okay. the last days of my life on Earth. Then I wanted to do you know all these experiences. Where do we go from here again? So I met a lot of people. I went to several markets. I've been uh, around. Uh, every platform, radio, TV, movie, theater, everything. Yeah. Lah. Mm. And then I meet a lot of people. Then below you, mm. dalam bidang media ni, the important thing is because you need to like people. Mm. So and you know, uh, below you like people too means you have to understand a bit more. And of course, that becomes your strength. Then once you dah been given the strength and knowledge, eh, uh, one thing that I would always say is like, what would I answer in front of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? So When you are given strength and influence, what did you do? So I can't answer anything. So I say I need to find somewhere where I can curahkan. It's not giving back to the community. I've always wanted to do that, but it was too early. The reason why I left Media Corp was also to do this. Oh, uh, I left mm. when I was 33. Um, no, no issue. I, was, I left actually because I left at the time when they actually offered me a rank to take over the two radio stations. Oh. I, I know no reason to leave. Uh, but then again, I wanted to leave because I want to explore the world out there. So oh. I was speaking to my CEO, Mr. Anthony Chia, and she said, "Where do you want to go?" Yeah, of course, I didn't say to him, "So if he bleeds, we can kill it." Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I said, <laughs> okay. uh, so then I said, maybe it was too early. You no, know, then I explore. So the first company I opened up was called Q and Q Management, and people say, "Why Q and Q Management? Because your jam kebu ta." Uh, actually, you translate back. You know, the more I wanted to run away from the showbiz, the more the showbiz came to me. Mm. So I must, there must be something, uh, something. Maybe I, you know, uh, I need to, to do something more. I don't know. So I okay lah. Got no choice. Then I still dwell into it. Q and Q management, management dalam bahasa Melayu ialah urusan. Urusan ya. Mm. Q and Q is actually urusan kada angkatara. <laughs> so uh, I named mm. the company after the six pillar of Kukun Iman. Mm. And then, uh, of course, I went ahead. And then uh, the next company that I did a couple of um, a few years ago was called Idea Factory. Idea Factory tu maknanya akal lah. Mm. Akal. So the only weapon that uh, you are given is actually akal against all the ni godaan and so on. So I say yeah. okay lah. It's, it's all a story, it's a journey. So finally, I think probably I think I'm ready to work for some uh, kerja-kerja kemasyarakatan. Wow. So I needed something that, you know, um, can give me the uh, exploration. So I'm still learning. So I've been, actually Jamia used to be my client. <laughs> mm. 
since 2014 so mm. i used to do videos for them i do so yeah. the working relationship was there so then one day uh, last three years i was offered to join in by said just hang in there for a while and then after that uh, let me see how it goes uh. mm. so i had to like dominate my company mm. uh, tell the guys to just like okay i'm changing my life again mm. uh, then uh, Of course, then I walk back to Jamie and say, "Yeah, yes, let's get married." Wow! No. So five months ago, yeah. Hopefully that I can value add Jamie, mm. uh, because they're doing a superb job. Uh, they one of the biggest uh, non-profit organization, Muslim standing there. Yeah. And I think I was quite impressed with dulu uh, Allah Rahma Cik Abu Bakar Maidin, uh, because when he took over Jamie, Jamie the bill fund was about five dollars left. Five oh, dollars, five dollars, yeah. the whole organization. But he turned it around into 25 million. Wow! Ooh. Yeah, okay. almost like, oh, how did he do it? Yeah, but because of his expertise. In fact, uh, Cik Abu Bakar Rawanya too was, he was actually the financial director of Leo Burnett Advertising Agency the Regional. Oh, yeah. Leo Burnett, he know finance. So when he came in, he value add, then Jamia became strong and nice. he walked to Jamia. The whole building is actually not rented; it's actually this. Oh, Ooh, okay. yeah, and they have several properties around. So I say, wow, this is a self-sustenance to rec- yeah. a force to be reckoned with. So I need to learn from them. Mm-hmm. So the best way is to work within them and then enhance and then work. And hopefully we can benefit the community. Yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. nice, nice, mm. nice. Wow, okay. Yeah. So because that's mm. the reason why we need to work together and get to the chopper. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Give me the weapon. <laughs> you didn't shoot you because you are unarmed. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> Billy the gil lu Billy uh, the gil. Tu bukan the gil, bukan uh. tulis skrip kat situ dia dah malas kan. Ah, lah, ah, ah, malas. Tu ah, ah, finish. Tapi mati dia saya relax kata stay uh. hero lah lama. Okey okey yeah. sorry mana aku bantu lah. Okey bang. It's okay Billy. What got you so Alright. Yeah. <laughs> But you ada any last word untuk hmm. you punya peminat ke you uh. know yang siapa uh. dengar ni yang always follow you uh. eh dia pernah you know your video ke apa ni semua. Ada any last word tak? Ini last word ya. Eh. Soal kau mau lazim, mana dia? Sedih tu lah. Cuma ni lah. Yang setia mengikut abang Betul suami itu, eh? ha, ha. buat konten ni, buat Beli tu, VCD. buat ni. Maybe macam-macam mana yang dengar oh. daripada zaman radio lagi macam mana? Oh, oh. And for those who seek refuge amongst the stars, <laughs> I am Optimus Prime. And I send you this message for those who seek refuge amongst the stars. For a while, we will be waiting right here on planet Earth. Apa nak sedih sedih? Get to the chopper. Okay. I think okay. probably last word is uh, mm. don't stop, continue learning. But I think learning has to be enjoyable. Mm. Uh, so get away from the certain terms that we misunderstood. Uh, you have to like maths because mm. you didn't like maths because you call it maths problem. Mm. Mm. So that word problem is actually challenge. Uh, when people say challenge also is uh, adventure. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think when we kept ourselves positive, uh, I think number one, uh, if you need to read, please read. You mm. need to read. Uh, that one is uh, another podcast. We can talk about that for five days to five days. <laughs> five days. <laughs> five days eh? Yeah, because I think um, why I like reading and reading open up to a lot of I can see what things that happen in my life when yeah. I read is because uh, that's the first word, not the first sentence that came waktu Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam berada di kagbo hiroh. So it came down and ikrok bismi rabbikal lazi khalaq ikrok ikrok so kalau kita faham sikit tentang bahasa Arab I'm not champion bahasa Arab by do a little bit understand okay. adalah dulu belajar sikit kat Al-Sagof hmm. so uh, ikrok is actually a command so dalam bahasa Arab ni dia ada dua type whereby kalau you dalam bahasa lain you kena uh, say with exclamation mark ataupun hmm. tone mm-hmm. for example duduk uh, dengan duduk Right, kan? So, yeah. duduk is more friendly. Duduk. Uh, then, kalau you nak command, duduk. Mm. Uh, tapi, bila you tulis, you kena tahu exclusion mark. So, kalau dalam bahasa Arab ni, uh, it can have the same tone. For example, uh, when you say tajlis, tajlis means duduk. Atau ijlis. Ijlis, sama tone. Tapi, ijlis is duduk. Oh, it's command. command. So, when you see e, e is always command. Mm. So, ih dina surat al-mustaqim. That's command. Mm. Uh, so, the word ikrok is not takrok. So, it is a command. Mm. So, kalau takrok, nak baca-baca lah. Tak nak baca, tak payah lah. Uh, so, min fadlik, ta, tafaddal min fadlik 
takra means oh please kindly read the thing mm. you want to read okay you don't want to read okay mm-hmm. but since the first word is ikra ikra means read means it's a command from allah subhanahu taala just ask yourself if you don't follow the first command how can you follow other commands betul mm. you have to read so by reading many doors are open the promise is allah taala said in the quran you read and we will put the knowledge into your chest and that's what i did so i read and then uh, continue read uh, alhamdulillah uh, 1994 kawin je 2 bulan pergi haji so oh. down there i do up all that lah just to keep this going so when i came back i became a reader and uh, i continue read and after that my life changed because uh, uh, what he said was true uh also what i said uh, is it the same for those who read and who does not read mm. similarly is it the same as those who can see and those who are blind mm. Mm. so when you read you actually can see things yeah. and you can see trends and you can see life ahead and you can see when people see problems you see it something else yeah and that is basically the fundamental formula that kept me going until today wow. and Ooh. if you want to stay relevant stay relevant because you read Mashallah. That's it. Oh, my oh. Thank you. But for further lecture, please download my Spotify <laughs> <laughs> lecture series. Yeah, but I think on. that's basic, lah. It's an open secret anyway. But yeah, people yeah. don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we read it uh, as a read, lah. Read as a command. Then after that, when we read, we can Allah suruh kita read. Read also can means you learn. You see, yeah. I'm, I'm mm. reading your mind. You know, because the word is not just read text, but uh, I'm reading the t- the. I'm reading the strategy. I'm reading the so you read, you know, you begin with reading text. After that, you begin to read trends. Yeah. After that, you begin to read solutions. You see, so read and see and stuff like that. Begin to a lot of things. So mm. I see a lot of things because that became my main fundamental. Kira dari yang read tu uh, leading to a lot of things, lah. <laughs> eh? uh, macam you say see lah. I see you. Uh-huh. And then when somebody say and then explain something, I say I see. Are you seeing with your eyes? So it goes deeper, right? Yeah, so the word yeah, yeah. "see" means not physical saja. "See" means your thoughts. Yeah. So read is all you need to do is just read. So you read a lot, and I think you have a lot of information. Uh, and reading means reading books, not reading Facebook. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. reading Facebook are just text which is not uh, authenticated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe you need to read facts. Mm-hmm. So bila you read facts or you read some documents, kau benda. And then if you read, how to pick it up? Just take one small book and read. Physically, because you, there's nothing beating holding it. Some things are best at its traditional form, uh, because if you read through e-books, boleh. Tapi e-books too is not something physical that you can touch. Nanti yeah. you read your phone, kau benda kan. It doesn't change your activity. But yes. when you read the book, dia mm. macam rasa lain tu. Mm. Yeah. Like suddenly you put aside your electronic things Betul. and then you like have it physical. Uh, this is a lot of people, you know. Uh, I, I don't know. I I, I do read uh, benda benda kat dalam internet and stuff like that. But then uh, it provides me with a physical escapade, and then it's a uh, real clear. And usually when I read books, I don't read it once. I read it twice, three times, or four times, because the first time you read, you understand it differently. Mm-hmm. The second time you read, ah, so that's what it means. And then thirdly, so if you take a book and you give to ten people, then after that you tell them to. Tell you back the story, yeah. You get ten different versions. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so it's very important to you. The skill will come to you, and then suddenly you will know certain things. Uh, so it, it really you have to experience it yourself. Okay? This one I can only recommend, but you, mm. uh, you know, like Neo, I can only show you the door, Neo. <laughs> <laughs> you have to walk through that door, Neo, <laughs> to be yeah. the one. Who that said? Do you believe you're the one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, orang right, bang. Uh, terima kasih bang kerana sudi datang lepak ang kita aja uh, kita banyak benda bang eh. Bukan apa. Oh, lepak. Bukan apa lah. Bukan apa tu. Tell you about the fees, uh, charge. Ah boleh, eh, boleh. Uh, itu ID lah kita settle. ID lah. Ah, ID settle. 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 Ah, May the force be with you. Aku tak pernah terikat ni kot. But you're not a Jedi. Uh, And, uh, James Earl Jones. <laughs> yes, James Earl Jones was somebody that I wanted to be when I do voiceover. Oh, that was the radio time lah. Saya selalu mengandung. 
Kan James Earl Jones is the one buat Davide and yeah, 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 Simba, yeah. you have forgotten me, <laughs> and so you have forgotten <laughs> yourself, Simba. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> okay Tapi oh, Tapi yeah. Tapi Podcast ni ditajakan khas Oleh ejen Hatana Faizal Rahim Dan Ira Jemal <laughs> Betul Lebih dikenali sebagai What is up Ya yeah, korang boleh Faizal follow. Rahim dan Ira Jemal. Jemal Okay <laughs> Diorang ni dua Simba <laughs> So boleh Follow orang yeah. kat Instagram At One and Zal Atau boleh call Atau whatsapp Di 91960 0 0 6 Dan sekiranya wow. Kalau anda nak Nak membeli rumah Atau yeah. menjual rumah Bolehlah hubungi Ataupun whatsapp mereka yeah. Sekarang juga Sekarang Saya juga. rumah Saya rumah Okay uh, Ejen <laughs> Faizal Rahim Dan Wan 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 ni dia uh. Rumah okay Saya dah ada uh. Uh, Orang rumah ada tak orang? <laughs> Kau tengoklah nanti macam dia. Okey okey. Uh, Terima kasih pakai bang. CPM uh, juga kan. CPM. Eh? CPM tengok cukup tak cukup ah. Aduh. Uh, rumah. Okey guys, uh, see you guys on the next episode. Terima kasih Abang Sumaimi. Eh, terima kasih. Terima kasih banyak. Alright. Bye bye. Thank you. I'll see you in Cybertron. The common folks for not the common people. Ya. Hai. Ah.